Hello everyone, so if you happen to be tight on ventures and you want to farm some quickly before the expansion I have a, found a really good and cheap way to do that Because of uh, a lot of people doing submarines to make gil There is a lot of byproducts That is the platinum ingot And ruby or sapphire That's a byproduct from the process So they're super super cheap now If we take a look at Sapphire for example, you see that and then platinum ingots Also very very cheap and Because people are decent thing the gear they get from dungeons and stuff like that battlecraft demi materia 3 all is also reasonably cheap This is actually way higher than usual. Usually. It's like 300 gil in my server so even at 700 gil is still worth doing this in my opinion, especially if you don't have a lot of time to farm the ventures for Endwalker And you want to do it now, especially if you have a lot of many retainers And you need to keep up with the amount of venture you're actually spending So, well quick venture is a very good way to gain venture as I mentioned in my prep video But you may be not have a lot of time and you want to get some quickly on top of that Then this is a really good way and Alagan Catalyst as well is really cheap. It's always been cheap because people don't know what else to do with them. So Alagan Catalyst is also very cheap. Look at that. So all the mats are super cheap. We're looking at at the most 1200 or well, let's say 1500 gil per each earring. Ruby or Sapphire. Well, the slaying one needs ruby. If we take a look at the casting one, it's sapphire. So just do which one, depending on which one you have more access to, which one is cheaper. Clusters are easy as well. If a, a ethereal reduction gets you a lot of clusters. All right. So all you do is just quick sense them. Once you have the enough craftsmanship to be able to quick sense them. You can, in your crafting log, you can see the quicksynth recommended. Or quicksynth craftsmanship requires 620. So as long as you have 620, you won't fail them. So you can just quicksynth. Before them. you start handing them in, I highly recommend to pop some kind of buff, uh, seal increasing buff that increases the amount of Grand Company seals you get from handing expect delivery. The squadron one is really good, it's equivalent to the grade 3 FC buff, which is 15% seal bonus, as you can see. That's really important. If you don't have ac access to this, just get the grade 2 seal sweetener FC buff, that also works. Seal sweetener 2. It's 10% instead of 15, but it's still better to ha than having nothing, or even the 5% one. And then you just hand expert delivery, the platinum accessories you just quick sent. And uh, it says 633, that's without any buffs. With 15% uh, I'm getting, as, well, as you can see in the chat log, I'm getting 728 per handing. So it's really good. Each venture costs 200 seals. For each of hand these handed in, I'm getting a little bit over 3 ventures per handing. So that's really good. A really quick way to farm venture. This is also a very good way to if you just for newly form the free company, it's a really good way to rank up the free company. Expert deliveries rank up the rank up FCs really quickly. So yeah, and these are all the stuff I've gotten from Quick Venture. Quick Venture is also really good to gain venture, but this is just an alternative I wanna share with you if you are really looking to gain more ventures that way and you may not even want this for only ventures like there is a lot of rewards for from the free uh, for, sorry from the grand company like you maybe wanna get coke or hardened sap i know from experience <laughs> you need tons and tons of these for building submarines and airships so you may wanna use it for this if you wanted to 
so yeah just wanted to share this hope it helps if it did please like favorite subscribe and share the video and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye